Welcome to the Moore Realtors Weekly St. Louis Real Estate Market Update. I'm Dennis Norman, one of the brokers at Moore, and if you'll give me a few minutes of your time, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in the St. Louis real estate market this week. First, let's jump right in with the real estate news. Here are just a few of the headlines from this week from St. Louis's best local source of news and information on the St. Louis real estate market, stlouisrealestatenews.com. Um, first one here, uh, mistakes uh, borrowers make when refinancing their home loan, an article that uh, highlights the uh, five most common mistakes as found by LendingTree.com uh, that uh, borrowers make when refinancing their home and uh, advice from uh, me on how to avoid that. A uh, article about uh, St. Louis foreclosures. The uh, foreclosure rate increased in August, but uh, we are down significantly from a year ago. A uh, article uh, from a local lender, Rob Fischel with Paramount Mortgage, uh, talking about uh, and, and illustrating just how much uh, today's historically low interest rates can save you and increase your buying power. And uh, finally, an article uh, that came out about the best places to invest in rental property. And again, these are just a few of the headlines and information from stlouisrealestatenews.com. Now let's jump right into the uh, market data for the week. The uh, first three slides I'm going to show you here are uh, based upon market data for the entire St. Louis metropolitan area, so the whole St. Louis MSA, which would incorporate some of the uh, 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 counties just on the other side of the river into Illinois as well. And uh, this week in our real-time market profile, uh, you can see the median price for the uh, metro area, $182,857,000. That's been pretty steady. Average days on market has uh, pretty consistently been going up. It's at 172 Asking price per foot, uh, about $98. Uh, that's been uh, dropping slightly. Total inventory, uh, just under 20,000 homes. Lots of other data there. We'll go down here to... Uh, uh, to the trademarked uh, market action index and we'll see it is at a 13. Uh, it is up uh, the same as last week but it's up from uh, the prior weeks. Uh, 13 would be cold and would be a buyer's market. Quick reminder on the market action index 30 would be a perfectly balanced market. If we see 30 it's not really favoring buyers or sellers. Anything below 30 is favoring uh, buyers and is a cold market and the lower the number gets down towards zero the colder it is. Um, above 30 up to 60 uh, favors a seller and the higher it gets and the closer to 60 the uh, the more so uh, it favors a seller. Here is a, a graph that shows uh, what the market action index has done since its inception which was uh, back in 08. And we can see that it's bounced around and we haven't seen anything close to a seller's market you know obviously in this period. Uh, it's bounced around from a peak of about 16.5 uh, back in the beginning down to a low near 11.5 uh, end of last year, beginning of this year. And we can see what it's done this year. It peaked um, and then uh, fell, but it looks like it's uh, maybe found a new bottom here and it's not going to go down as low as it was. Uh, this next one's a uh, chart I added just this week. And this one, this breaks it down into what we call quartiles, uh, are different parts of the market. And, um, and what's probably not surprising here is you can see the difference in the market action index based upon the the price range of the market. The black line represents the uh, the top uh, quarter of the market, so the uh, fourth uh, most highest priced homes and we can see that market action index is the lowest uh, and it goes just right in order. Orange is the uh, the second uh, highest quarter or quartile of uh, home prices. Green is third and the blue represents the bottom fourth of the market and so clearly the lower end of the market, the lower priced homes, we can see that the uh, at least from a market action index standpoint uh, it's a, a warmer market and uh, still it's only at about a 14 but if we uh, look at just the top end of the market instead of the overall average, uh, the top quartile uh, is down below 10. And uh, finally, this uh, next slide here, this shows for the St. Louis metropolitan area just what the, uh, oops, sorry, I jumped back, just what the median price trend has been. Uh, the orange line uh, shows median prices uh, averaged over a 90-day period. Black line shows them averaged over a 7-day period. The orange is more indicative of the overall trend of the market, but I have the, oh, I keep jumping there, the, I have the black one on here because the black is, uh, since it's a seven-day average, it usually shows a change in the uh, 
and the trend before the orange line will. So we can see here that median home prices hit a low, at least in the past year, hit a low here uh, uh, in March, uh, going into April. Looks like they peaked uh, sometime July, August, and then have been heading downward. But we can see on the uh, the seven-day average, it's turning upward pretty well. So we might see this uh, this trend not continue down and. Uh, probably level off is what my guess is going to be. So again, as I've been saying for a while, I think we've hit the bottom of the market and uh, we're at least in St. Louis and I think we're going to be bouncing around here for a while and trying to find that uh, that bottom before it smooths out. And this may be what's happening now. It may be uh, uh, getting ready to level off. Now the next slides I want to show, uh, zoom in a little more on the core St. Louis market. These are all uh, from the Missouri side and uh, just five counties uh, in the central uh, St. Louis area. So it would include the city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Jefferson County, and Franklin County. So data for those five counties combined. This first slide shows the number of sales and average sales price for this five county area. The blue bars represent the number of sales. We're in September, so we'll just ignore that for now. But we can see August uh, finished out the month uh, better than July and uh, almost as good as May. So we had uh, uh, June with the, uh, the the peak there at uh, well over, eh, probably about 2,200 sales. Uh, August came in uh, a little below 2,000, probably around 1,900 sales. And we can see what's happening to the average sales price. It kind of followed the sales and then has started to trend down a little bit here. This next slide shows the median home sales prices. Uh, those homes that sold, what the median prices were, as well as the median time it took them to sell. This is for the past 12 months. The green line represents a sales price. Blue, the days on market. And we can see what happens what has happened with the sales price. Pretty much like we've been discussing on the prior slide, just trended upward, peaked in July, and uh, now looks like, like it's headed downward, although again, that uh, for the metro area at least, that seven-day average showed us that this might change. The days on market peaked back in the winter at uh, almost 100 days, uh, dropped to a low here in uh, June of uh, uh, just over 60 days, but has been steadily uh, increasing as we go into fall here. Uh, now this one is, uh, this slide shows the ratio or relationship between what homes actually sold for versus what they were listed for at the time and also what they were uh, sold for versus what they were originally listed for. So this is not really indicative of what the market value is of the home. This is more indicative of how good of job the listing agents are doing with educating sellers and providing them the market data so sellers can make good decisions and list their homes um, or price their homes properly at the time of listing. And this is why it is so critical today to make sure when you're choosing an agent <coughs> that you're not choosing an agent simply because they're your neighbor or they're somebody you work with or, or something like that. You really truly need a professional that's dedicated to this profession that has access to really good, accurate, real-time market data that knows the neighborhoods and then also knows how to take all this information and apply it to your house and your situation. Everything's different and that is what uh, my partner John Williams and myself we have put all of these tools together. Um, we uh, train uh, both our people and also work with agents outside of uh, our company as well to share this data and work with them. So uh, we're here to help you and uh, we'd be happy to show you how this applies to your situation. But we can see here the blue line represents the final sales prices as a ratio uh, or percentage of the list price at the time of sale. And we can see over the summer that actually hit up into the 90s, almost 95%. So homes are selling for about 95% of what they were listed for at the time. August looks like it uh, ended up a little higher than July. We can ignore this drop off into September because we really don't have much sales data. Uh, the sales data lags. Uh, so not much in for September yet. And uh, now looking at it to the original price, we can see that in July homes only sold for about 70% of what they had originally come out on the market at. But uh, by August it was up over 80. So in general, uh, homes appear to be getting priced a little bit better, or more accurately, I should say. And then uh, this is a slide that shows the inventory of homes for sale as well as how many listings are expiring 
without being sold or being relisted. So the assumption would be the seller has given up. Um, and we can see the uh, the blue lines uh, represents the expired listings. You see it peaked back here. Well, it peaked at the end of the year. That's back in December, and that's expected because a lot of listings do expire at the end of the year. But here in June, it hit uh, uh, over 3,500 listings expiring. Uh, then actually dropped down in July to under 3,000, and then headed back up in August. And, and I would expect to continue to see this increase. Listing inventory, as we the green line, as we would expect, dropped going into summer as sales uh, picked up. Increased a little bit in July and then dropped in August, which again would be expected because we had a, uh, as we I showed you before, we had uh, pretty good sales numbers there. So uh, still the month supply, if we look back over here, at at uh, it looks like August closed out at 40 something months supply. That's still a huge inventory of homes for sale, though. And finally, this is a uh, just a long term look at what's happened in the St. Louis market. This is a 10 year. Uh, our 10 years of median sales prices and list prices for St. Louis. Blue line uh, represents list prices, green line represents sales prices. And um, everything peaked in 06, and we can see everything's dropped since. And, uh, and we can see here that as far as the prices go, prices now are pretty well dipping back down to, I've been saying around the 03 levels, and on this chart it's kind of hard to draw a line and see, but uh, potentially maybe even a little closer to the O2 levels than O3. And there you have it. What I've shown you here is just a quick snapshot of uh, the overall St. Louis market, the, uh, the whole St. Louis metropolitan area, and then uh, uh, just the five county core area. We have data and can provide data that brings us down much closer to uh, uh, to uh, your level, to uh, neighborhoods, zip codes, cities, and uh, we can really get a, a good look at it. Here on this screen you see this is just a sample of the charts I've shown you. Uh, we can provide um, all sorts of sorts of uh, charts and data again to help you compare areas or see just what's happening in one particular neighborhood or zip code or city compared to another. Over here is a uh, screenshot of our uh, monthly newsletter. We've got a great uh, uh, real estate newsletter that comes out via email monthly. You can sign up for that on our site. Uh, you can uh, at uh, mo-re.com. You can also uh, request more market data or see all sorts of market data on the site as well. It's mo like Missouri dash or hyphen re like real estate.com. Finally, down here uh, you see the little logo. We do have a podcast channel for this market update if you go to iTunes and uh, the iTunes store and search St. Louis real estate market update you'll see this logo you can uh, subscribe to it free and uh, download these you can watch these market updates on your uh, iPhone or iPad or other smart device or on your computer you can also find these on our YouTube channel which is youtube.com slash more realtors M-O-R-E realtors just like it is on the screen here or you can check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash more realtors. Um, and as I said, uh, I'm Dennis Norman, my partner, uh, John Williams. We're here to help you, us and our, our team of professionals, with any of your real estate needs, whether it be buying or selling, uh, buying investment property. You can contact me at dennis at mo-re.com, john at uh, john at mo-re.com, or contact us through the website. You can get, call me at my uh, direct number, 314-332-1012, or John at 314-414-6000. Finally, here's the, uh, the legal stuff. Basically tells you all this information as is. You need help from a professional to make decisions. Hey, like us. And there you go. So that's it for the week. I'll see you next week. Thank you and God bless.